Hey everybody, welcome to the My Summer Car How To episodes from Game A Day Gamer on the Game A Day Gamer channel. Today is episode 2 How to Build Your Chassis. Now remember, bumping into your car and jumping onto your car will cause damage. As you can see, the car is in nice shape right now. The frame is. Banging into it with objects will make it not so good. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our toolbox. We're going to take it outside because that's where we're going to be doing all of our work. Of course, we're going to drop it right here in front of the car. Bang. And we are going to come over here. We are going to grab this subframe. Now, crouch low. Push it right under the car until you see the check mark. See, I just, I just buckled that fucking front end. Damn it! But that's okay because guess what? I can show you a fix. There's going to be a video that'll show you how to make your car look like new after you're done building it. Because this is a little bit too much damage just for building it. I don't know how you would avoid it. Anyways, the subframe is four bolts, size ten spanner, which we have. We're going to jump right in. We're not too worried about the damage right now. Okay, that's in. Next, it's the steering rack. The steering rack has four bolts as well. It uses a size 9 spanner. After that, we're going to insert the steering column. The steering column has two 8mm bolts. The steering column bolts are on the inside of the car. Voila! Next, it's time for some wishbones. Now, pay attention because these do say which side. FL is front left, which is driver's side. The wishbones need a size 10 spanner. Next, we're going to go for some spindles. Remember, these are also uh, sided. As you can see, this is the FR, so that's front right. The spindles utilize a size 12 spanner. Alright, time for some steering rods. These are also sided. This is the front right one. These can be a real hassle putting in. Now it's time for some disc brakes. These are not sided, so they can go on the any side you wish. The disc brakes need a size 14 spanner. Alright, time for some struts. These are sided. Now, first things first, we're going to make sure the steering rods are attached with a size 12 spanner. Nice. Then we're going to grab a size 9. There's four total 
keep your eye out for that. Now to finish up those struts you need your 10 millimeter spanner. Now it's time for the half shafts. If we can get it in before the sun goes down. We gotta take the spanner 14 and we have to unloosen these bad boys. Alright, then you're going to lock them down here. Now you could just skip locking them down earlier, but I like doing that knowing that it's done. It's kind of like a double protection safety measure. Then it's going to be 9mm on the inside of the hood. All right, now it's time to work on the back part of the suspension, and we're gonna start with the trailing arms, which are sided. The trailing arms need a size 12 spanner, and they have two bolts per each side. And you're gonna to have to use the lean button to get in here properly. After the trailing arms comes the coils. They are not sided and just pop right into place. No worry about any tools. Now for the shock absorbers. They are not sided. Now the shock absorbers require a size 12 spanner, which we have. Oh Jesus, don't flip the car. It also utilizes 6mm for the inside. The storm is going to be a pisser. Next is the drum brakes. <laughs> I can't believe I'm pushing that car around like that. Beating the piss out of it in the, in the meantime. You're going to need the size 14 spanner for this. Now you guessed it, it's time for tires. These are side specific. Pay attention. Now to make those permanently part of your car, use a size 13 spanner. Next we're going to put on the hubcaps. The hubcaps are also sided. The hubcaps don't need any tools, they are just placed on. And that's putting in the suspension.